head and neck cancer care in particular, we are dealing with the things that make us human beings. The way we approach the world, our voice, our face, our expressions, our ability to go out to an eat at a restaurant, to swallow effectively. These are the things that we are managing when we treat head and neck cancer. And so I think the stakes are high. The, our, our, we, have to, we have to be able to provide the highest level of care we can and minimize the side effects because this is how people face the world. So I find when I meet new patients uh, that uh, this really is one of the hardest things that they experience throughout their entire life. And my job and the job of our team at Sightman is to get them through this difficult time. And that's not just me, it's not just surgery. It's recognizing that there's an entire team of people who are there to care for them, including in many cases, my colleagues in radiation oncology, my colleagues in medical oncology, our speech therapists, our nutritionists, all of us working together to get these patients through these very, very difficult times. And I think by providing them uh, confidence that our experience and our experience with previous patients and our research show that the treatments they're getting at Sightman are the optimal treatments available anywhere. And uh, helping them understand as much as I can what surgery entails, what radiation therapy entails, what medical oncology entails, or chemotherapy entails, is something that we really strive to do. And it's difficult sometimes to really understand that unless you've experienced it. But, but by providing them at least a perception or understanding of what, they're, what to expect, I think it does help patients get through the entire journey of cancer treatment. What I hope will happen is that one day we will be making decisions based on their molecular profile. So the tumor itself has certain characteristics genomically or at the most basic molecular level. And I think there's an opportunity in the future for us to use those molecular characteristics to help define personalized care. The thing that's most rewarding about treating patients is seeing them through the journey uh, successfully. Some uh, folks may think that surgeons only do surgery, that we're only technical people, and that we uh, hand off patients after we do surgery, but that's simply not the case in head and neck cancer. We develop long-lasting relationships with patients that go on for many, many years. For patients in the region and patients in St. Louis, when it comes to head and neck cancer care, there's no better place to make the tough decisions about care than Sightman Cancer Center.